Hey everyone, hopefully it's recording, I just heard the beep go. <laughs> um, this is not how your typical welcome to a channel or welcome would be. Uh, someone eating dinner, laptop, computer, drink, and headphones. Um, but, yeah, I was, that video if you check, um, well I'm gonna put it on both channels, so you can check either one. Um, it was when I was sitting out on the chair and the dog got up on the chair behind me. I had to cut that short. Oh, you gotta forgive my nose. But I had to cut that short because my grandparents were getting home. They had pizza. That we got pizza. So, yeah, I had to cut that short. And plus, the dog was gonna act like a total butthead. She was gonna bark. So, and her bark is really loud. So, I don't know how to edit the. Vo well, I do, but I forget now. Cause I just I figured it out like four days ago. But a lot has happened since then. <laughs> But, I gotta hurry up with this video. Got supper here. Um, yeah, look. Pizza. Yeah, I eat, I eat ranch with my pizza. But, um, if my grandparents come in, I'm gonna motion this so they know that I'm talking with you guys. But, um, enough, enough rambling on. First things first. Oh, what is that? First things first. Welcome to Farmer Boys Homestead 22. Um, and it was... Um, I hope you enjoy the content we're putting up. Um, we, we don't put up videos daily like some other YouTubers say daily videos. I'm not like that. I'm not showing you my personal life day after day after day. It's gotta get boring. So sorry if you hear my sorry if you hear my granny. Just ignore her. Some of these days I just want to put tape over her mouth so she stops talking for a little bit. Oh, right now she's talking to her dad. Which is my opa. I don't know what that means. It's some German word, so I don't know. But I'll show you a picture of him. Here. Right there. The guy on the left. I mean, the guy on the right, right here. That's opa, his wife, Oma. But she passed away um, a couple of years ago, so. Um, but yeah, she's talking to her dad, opa. Um, but enough rambling on about personal life. Welcome to the channel. As you know, it's Farmer Boys Homestead 22. All the videos on this channel are like gardening, gardening, everything gardening, like composting, fixing a fence in the garden, fixing a raised bed in the garden, um, anything with garden. Or like said, I grow a pumpkin, saving the seeds, showing you saving seeds, how to um, dry them out. That's garden related, because. Some people might think, that's not garden related, you're saving seeds. Seeds aren't related to a garden. You are not a gardener. The garden, say it straight out. You are not a gardener. You are city folk. You don't know anything about gardens, so just sit there and shut up. Simple as that. Um, I know I'm not being mean to you. If you don't think saving, like, saving pumpkin seeds is not gardening, why aren't you roasting them? First things first, let me get it straight. I don't eat roasted pumpkin seeds. I don't like them. I... Just like I don't eat sunflower seeds. I don't like them. Don't. I, I don't like them. I dislike them. The reason why, this is how saving pumpkin seeds is a gardening video. Because think, you save them, dry them out. Guess what Guess what you do with them next year? Stick them in the ground. It, plant, it grows. So, yeah. Yeah, some people, some gardeners that think they know everything about gardening think, oh, once I plant seeds, they grow, I chop them down, throw them away, I gotta go to the store, get seeds for next year. If you're really smart and a good gardener, you would know, like, if you take tomatoes and take, like, a mason jar, label, label them, like, um, say, um, I got this cherry tomato that I saw it on another YouTuber. This is the only chip, the tomato name I have off my, off the top of my head. It's Borga Borgazi. I don't know how it spells. Like you label it like if the date is eight fifteen, label it eight fifteen and Borgazi. And um, you take the tomato, squeeze out like the seeds into the jar. Put them as put as many seeds as you want in it. Don't put it like fill up the whole jar. Don't do it because you need to put I guess like water in it. Um, but put t put on the mason jar lid. And let it sit for a couple weeks, and what that process is doing is f fermenting the seeds, aka there's a like there's a thin layer like gel on the outside of the seeds, like this thin on layer, 
and it prevents the seed from sprouting in the tomato. And fermenting it gets the bacteria, I guess, gets that layer off. And once it's done back, like fermenting, um, you take it through a um, cheese cloth strainer, yeah, thin cheesecloth, or if you are married and have a wife that has um, nylon so stockings or something, thin holes that only water can get through. That's the key. Only something thin holes. Real tiny holes, like a fruit fly. If you see those little tiny flies that you can barely see flying around in the fruit in your kitchen, that's how, that size, that fly, that's how big the, the th strainer holes have to be. Cheesecloth, cheesecloth strainer, like fabric, or nylon stockings, whichever one you prefer. If you're a girl and you want to use nylon stockings, go ahead. If you're a guy and you want to use cheesecloth, go ahead. Or if if you're married and you're, you're a guy gardener and you're married and your wife is throwing a pair of stockings or whatever away, ask her for it. Because you can use that to strain the water from the tomato seeds so you can save those for an extra planting. So... I honestly ain't gonna use nylon stockings. No, not my personal choice. I'd rather use cheese cheesecloth. So, using nylon stockings is not good. I, I don't like. I don't know if it'll work that well. I never seen anyone use that method. I don't know, but I don't really think that'll work that well. I don't think that. I don't even think there's holes in them. But um, I don't know. Use whatever you have on hand, so, but, <clears throat> yeah, this is a big welcome video, rambling on, um, I'm tired, <sighs> this pizza, oh, it's getting cold, I gotta hurry up, I'm hungry, um, oh, my knee's, oh, my knee's gonna crack, it hurts, my knee hurts right now, at my back, my knees, my neck hurts, I've been working outside, busting my hump around here. My grand, every time my granny is clean, she's like, "Hey, you get off your butt and start helping." I, I do a lot for her. I have a list on the refrigerator of what I do for her. It's like a list of 15 things, and all I get is a thank you. But that's it. I don't get paid. It's granny's like, "Oh, you should start doing chores around here." This stuff I'm doing for her, like taking her laundry basket upstairs so she can fold her laundry. Um, bringing her laundry basket down down the steps because she can't. She has back and knee problems. Um, reaching stuff on high shelves because I'm five foot nine. She's she's a midget. She's short. She's the same height as my grandma. No offense to you, grandma. No offense. I'm just trying to give him an explanation of how tall. Um, I don't know how tall she is exact, but she's really helicopter. I don't know if you can hear that helicopter. Um, Um, you have to reach stuff on high shelves and pick stuff up, like, out, like under the cabinet sink. She can't bend down, so I, I, I can bend down, but my knees crack, so, but the doctor said that it's nothing to worry about since I exercise. I ride bike, I play street hockey, um, I'm active, yet some cold days I'm laying on my butt, laying on the couch, on my laptop, doing nothing, because frankly there's nothing to do outside in the winter. Besides shoveling snow, but I have no snow pants, so... I can't go outside. The one time I went outside to play in the snow, I was in jeans. Oh my god, when you're playing in snow, in blue jeans, with nothing else underneath, except, besides underwear, you guys, yeah, you guys can figure that out. Um, but when the, when you're sitting on your knees in the snow, it doesn't take more than six minutes for your jean, the kneecap of your jean, to get freezing cold, and you're going in real quick. You, you just have to go in, because it gets too cold. So, I tried it once. I had two pairs of blue jeans. The rest, we took to Goodwill because they were too small. Um, I keep yawning. God, stop it. You, stop. Yeah, I just smacked myself. Um, I took, I put the one blue, pair of blue jeans on. Went outside playing cell. Six minutes go by. Oh, it's cold. I got to change. Went upstairs. Put the second pair on. Put the wet pair in the dryer. Went outside. Six minutes later, come back in. Cold. Yeah. And then I had to wait probably like two hours for the dryer to be done. So, but I'm tired. God, stop yawning. God, can't stop yawning. I'm tired. Oh. Oh, no, stop it. God. But 
this is a another. This is still the welcoming video of um, Farmer Boys Homestead 22. Um, no foul language. No being rude. No disrespectful. No inappropriate comments of any of that. None of that in general. Any, anything I missed that, that is like that. None of it. If I find you, or if one of my friends texts me or emails me saying that this person on this video, this far down, under that person was being a jerk, I'm going to report you and I'm going to block you. So, yeah, this channel is all about getting together, getting along, um, and having a good time. If you see I'm doing something you don't like and you comment, I don't like the way you're doing well, sorry if I'm not doing it your way. You have your own house and your own land. Do it the way you want. Don't come on my channel being a total jerk about it. So, um, like this one guy I watch, he's like, some people just, when I'm doing this one compost video, they see, they just come out from under a rock or come out from a cave and they see it and they don't like how I'm doing it and they just have to type it. They can't help themselves. They just go, just can't stop themselves from doing it, but they just go ahead and type and I just, Read the comment, I'm like, okay, block. I'm going to do that to any of you viewers that do that on my channel. It's on my laptop, and it's easy to block you and report you. Don't think I won't do it. I will. Push me. Push my buttons and see what's going to happen to you. So, I ain't, pl I ain't playing games. You want to be a jerk and a dumbhead? There's a whole ton of other gardeners and YouTubers out there. Get off the channel. Go find someone else to torment. Me, I'm going to report you to YouTube, first of all, and I'm going to block you. So, and if you're using, like, oh, my news. Say you're using a laptop. You say a bad comment or say something rude to someone on that, on my channel. I'm going to block you. And you might have another computer like this one. I have two U um, Google accounts on here. This computer, I have like, my NS Train Model 22, and this one I have my Farm Boys Homestead. And if you, I can block anyone on either computer. If I see someone on this, on my this channel, um, Farm Boys Garden, or uh, Farm Boys Homestead, I can block you on here. But if I see um, on NS Train Model 22 on here, set bad comment. Don't think, oh, he can't block me on that. Guess what? I have that computer. I can have that computer. I can block you on that one. That's the one I have my original channel on. I can block you on either channel. I can see the comment on NS Train Model 22 on my laptop. I can't block you on my laptop, but I can go to that computer and block you. So, all's, all's good as that. I don't know the saying. I don't know. I forget the saying, so I'm just going to stop that. All's good that ends well, I guess. It, yeah. So, you, I might see it on this laptop. Can't block you on this laptop, but I'll go to that one as soon as I can. So, gotcha. Yeah, think you outsmarted me? Mm mm. No, you didn't. So, yeah. I ain't, I ain't playing your games. You want to be a jerk? Fine. I'll, I'll play your inappropriate games. You want to be inappropriate, rude? Guess what? Everyone on that, on the channel, will see, oh, this person's being immature. And I will, I will make sure to give you a big freaking shout out saying, don't, don't talk to this person. This person, and I'll say your full, your first and last name on the channel on, that I see. Embarrass the crap out of him. This person was doing this. Steer clear of him. He's being immature. Don't swoop to, don't scoop down, like swoop down to his level because that's all he wants you to do. He's feeling down, so he wants you to feel down. He's being a bully, and don't talk to that person. He's being a total jerk, and ignore him. But I gotta check the time quick. See how long we have. Oh, we're plenty, plenty of time. But yeah, I'm gonna announce your name so everyone can see it, and I'm gonna tell him, don't talk to this person. Steer clear of him. He's being immature. He's a bully. He's rude. He's ignorant. He's selfish, and he doesn't care about anyone's feelings, and all, a whole bunch of other stuff. I got a whole book full of stuff I could tell, talk about, like make you feel like. I could say this about you. I say that. Anything you want, comment, and I will say it about you. So, yeah. Don't think I won't, because I will. So, kids in middle school, when I was in 6th grade, this one kid was being mean to my girlfriend, and I just happened to be right down from her at my locker, and she was probably like, um, let me think, like, estimated like 8 or 9 lockers, 8 or 9 lockers down from me. And I heard this guy being a jerk call my girlfriend this and that, and I just happened to walk up. He didn't even know I was dating her. I just came up. 
punch him right in the face, and he like fell like like that way, like alongside the lockers. He didn't fell into the lockers. He fell like that way. Like say the lockers are here, he fell this way onto the floor, not into the lockers. He fell that way, and he got up. He's like, "What was that for?" I was like, "Hello, heads up, dude. This is my girlfriend. I ain't gonna let you trash her like that." So you better start walking or we're going to have problems. And he came in, he went to swing, and I bumped him with my elbow. And I came over with my, my left fist and hit him right in the jaw. And he fell down quick. He didn't get up probably for like two minutes. And his friend came up. He's like, what was that? I was like, he was trash talking my girlfriend. He's like, oh, he does that a lot. I just let him get what he deserves. So. And he just fist pumped me and went on our way. And after that, kids knew, don't mess with him. That's his girlfriend. Don't, don't do it. So this one new kid, he came up to me, and he's like, your girlfriend is, and this one kid's like, don't, don't do it. And he's motioning, don't do it, don't do it. And he just walked away. He, he didn't want to. That, he was like a somewhat smart, somewhat intelligent kid. Like, the kind of kid, like, if he goes to do something and someone tells him don't, he, he doesn't do it. So, yeah. I think my sister actually punched a kid in school, too. I forget what the story was, but... I think she was in homeroom. Some kid was teasing her, and she just turned around, socked him right in the face. Me and Clarissa, we don't mess with pe mess around with people. If someone's being a, a bully or saying rude comments. We're gonna nail them. If there, if someone came up to me in like the grocery in a grocery store and was yelling at me, calling me this, calling me that, and I'm not gonna say the words because this is my my new channel and no inappropriate stuff. But if someone came up to me saying this and that, I I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not afraid of punching someone in public. You say trash about me, bang, right there, sock you right in your face. So I don't care if the cops come. I'm hightailing it out of there. Or no, actually, I won't hightail it. I'll stick around. I'll be. A, I'm man up. I'm man up to my actions. I'll wait for the cops. I'll wait. I don't care. They have nothing to prove. He was being a total jerk. I got. I was insulted. I did what I needed to do to protect myself. Right there. Simple as that. Yeah, the cop might tell me, don't do it again. Guess what? I'm going to do it again if someone is being a total jerk to me. If I am if I get married and someone says something rude about my girlfriend, pow. Don't care. Pow. One right to the face. <laughs> so, but I got to hurry up. My pizza's getting cold. I don't want to go out there and microwave again. So, once again, welcome to Fire Boys Homestead. Remember, no, no rude comments, no none of that, no inappropriate words, n no trash talk, no being rude to other you like comments on the video. If you see someone commenting and you yell and be mean to that person, all I need is one of my friends to tell me or me to find out in je the first, and I will have you reported and block you. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna argue. So. Remember that before you think before you do is my little tip. Think before you do. If you think and it feel if like say you're going out, your friends are pressuring you to go out and spray paint um uh, a cop car, like graffiti on a cop car or graffiti a train car. If it th if it feels wrong, don't do it. Think. Think. If it feels wrong and if you think you're oh, if you get that thought wonder if I'm going to get in trouble. Don't do it. So, um, I got to get back to my pizza. I'm hungry. So, um, the TV stopped out there. So, I think they're listening. So, and they just turned it back on because they heard me. Losers. God. They, they, pop, they muted their TV. I heard, I heard that they muted it because I didn't hear a sound. Because my TV's not on. Theirs is. So, I heard it, they were listening, so, just talk about something else, and, yeah, I just said, I hear they muted their TV, and they turned it right back on, so, but I'm gonna get back to this pizza, I'm hungry, like, subscribe, comment, and remember, if your comment feels wrong, and if you, if any of your comment is bad, I'm gonna block you and report you, so, see you guys, yummy pizza.